If only I had five minutes. And now I have five minutes and I don't really know what to do with myself. Anyway, um, I was just thinking, as usual, and I was thinking about, um, let me position my arm. I was thinking about what people say. They say, what is the quickest way to lose weight? What's the quickest way to get vibrant? What's the quickest way to heal disease? Well, first of all, if you're talking about weight loss, quit worrying about what's the quickest way to lose weight and start thinking about what's the, the easiest and most sure road to get healthy. Because when you're healthy, then all the other things are going to come. When your plan is to get healthy, your plan is to heal disease. Your plan is to be your ideal weight. Um, all those things will come with that. So, you know, and it's just like I was talking to y'all a couple weeks ago about you know, it's just starting to appreciate the fact of, um, are my legs perfect? Are they whatever? The thing is, they're healthy legs, you know, and it's a healthy body and a healthy mind. And so that's what we need to focus on. But, um, you know, the fastest and most direct way to health is raw fruits and vegetables, raw, ripe fruits and vegetables, plants. Um, and of course, sometimes we do need a backup plan. Sometimes people do need a transition time. It depends on you. But the thing is, I feel alive when I'm eating alive. You know, when I used to eat pasta and I used to eat rice and I used to, those things didn't make me feel vibrant. They, they will sustain you, but, um... That's not where the health thrive is, and that's what I want. I want everything that's coming to me. I, I don't want to settle for, well, I can make it by on that, you know? And even if um, it's a budget thing to you, it's a budget thing to me, and I make it. So you can make it happen, you know? Um, the thing about cooked food, and I'm not down in the cooked food. I know a lot of people are in transition phases. The thing about cooked food, say you eat... You eat um, Say you eat some corn pasta, and goodness grief, get off the gluten. Let's just say you eat some corn pasta, and you eat it, um, let's just say you woke up and you were starving and you ate it at 9 in the morning. All day, you're going to be wanting another fix of that, another hit of that. That's been my experience in the past. Maybe not for everybody, but you sit down with a bowl of rice at night. Where's your next bowl? Where's your next bowl? And the rice really isn't good enough by itself. Um, you want things to go on it. Fat would be really nice. But the thing is, even if you, you keep it low fat, um, it's not good enough by itself. You want some, some things to excite your taste buds on there. But if you sit down with a bowl of mangoes, mangoes need nothing. If they're ripe and, and they're ready, they need nothing. Um, if you sit down with a, a gigantic salad and you have a delicious raw dressing on there, it needs nothing. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, if, you, if you're transitioning and, and first, you know, you are having your, say you're, you're awesome and you're having fruit till five. You're having fruit and greens till five. And then in the evening, you're, you're just loading up on the pasta and rice and all that. That's great. Nobody's dying. Nobody had to suffer. But how do you feel in the morning? How do you feel um, after you eat that? Do you feel like, okay, it's time, it's downtime? Or do you feel like, let's get up and do something? Um, I used to feel like, okay, it's, it's downtime, you know, because my, my system, it would take a bigger toll on me to digest that. And in the morning, I would be very mucusy. Um, grains are a mucus forming food. So, uh, you know, they think about this. If you let uh, oatmeal or rice 
or pasta, sit in a pot on the oven that's the same temperature as your guts. Let it sit there for several hours and, and look, look at how hard it is to kind of get off the side. It sort of molts to the bottom. I don't want that in my guts. Um, so let's say you are eating that. And then is, is that your end goal? Do you know, or, or maybe you could transition to the next step and then you could have fruit and greens till five. And then at night you could have steamed vegetables with less and less grains and pasta. Then eventually you're to the steamed vegetables at night, you know, with a little added fat. And then, um, and then eventually you're to your fruit and greens till five and then your salad with your raw dressing and, and you're totally satisfied. And then you can eventually be ultra satisfied on mono meals. You know, it's a progression. So, you know, be kind to yourself with that. But, but still, do focus on some goals. What's your next goal in mind, you know? Are you drinking your gallon of water a day? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you trying to minimize your stress? You know, what's your next goal? Um, I just want enzyme active food, you know? If it will rot on its own, there's enzymes in there. Rice can sit on the pantry shelf for I don't know how long. So can Twinkies. See what I'm saying? Um, you know, and you need to, we need to focus on the carb calories, but we need to focus on what kind of carb calories? Fruit carb calories. Um, because you could be saying, well, I got my carb calories. They came from Coca-Cola. You know, or they came from, I don't know, sugary drinks or Kool-Aid. It's not the same thing. Um, have you ever noticed that really vibrant food makes you look vibrant? Bright colored foods, all the antioxidants, a rainbow of nutrients of fruits and vegetables. Raw fruits and vegetables have never let me down. I feel like, I honestly feel like I'm growing younger every year. I feel like and it's not so much about um, how you look, but I feel like my insides are growing younger and my spirit is growing younger and my, my love for others and compassion for others is growing younger. Like when I look at the students I teach and they're so, a lot of them not so innocent anymore. It's very sad what they go through, but you know, you can still see through a child's eyes the innocence and the, and the believing in other people, you know, and that's what we want. That's what I want. I want goals for myself. So I'm just thinking about setting setting a few goals and I'm maybe we could put underneath what your goals are, you know. I think that would be good. I was gonna play out some music but it went off and hopefully they won't mute me because I've been silenced. Well we don't have a lot of money. Don't you wanna be free? Don't have a lot of money. 